just come see you today You wait, I'm stuck up in my bed But love it when I'm playing Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel It is your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics And I'm here with you guys today with a new vloggy vlog This vlog is going to be a new weekly vlog hour long vlog what's good what's poppin period so if you guys are new here welcome you have found your way to an amazing place on beyonce's internet my name is kendra aka kinesthetic with the kinesthetics if you guys are returning thank you guys so much for clicking on yet again another video i'm still in new york <laughs> i'm still in new york but i'm leaving today i'm so hyped well, i'm leaving tonight so I am ready to go. I've been in New York for over a month now. Oh, I've been away from my house for over a month now. And I miss my house. I'm homesick. I miss Casa Kinesthetic, okay? So, I'm going back to Houston today and I'm really excited. So, you guys are going to see me traveling back to Houston and me just getting my life back together in Houston. So, I hope you guys are ready to see, ready to tune in, ready for the Living Alone Diaries. Because, girl, I have so much planned coming up. We about to have fun. We about to have fun. I hope you guys are excited. But before we get started, before we get into the fun, before we get into the festivities, before we get into the looks, before we get into all of that, make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below, girl. It's free. It's free 99. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I actually got my hair braided yesterday. If you guys didn't see my maintenance vlog, make sure y'all go watch it after this one. It'll be up before this one. I got my hair braided by my sister here by Kimmy. Had to make sure I got some braids before I went back to H-Town, period. But my flight is tonight. I'm taking the last flight out and I'm going to get back late. So I'm just trying to plan everything out because I also don't have groceries at my house. Girl, it's a lot to think about, okay? But I'm about to take this shot. This ginger shot from Trader Joe's. Don't mind my nails, y'all. I'm going to get them done. You guys will see them <laughs> transform in this vlog too. But either way, I'm about to take this shot because, girl, the germs be on the plane. The people with the germs be on the plane. It's like once you get on the plane, everybody just starts coughing. Unsupervised at that. So I like to make sure, you know, I have everything together for when I get on my flight. So I'm about to take this shot. It does not taste well at all, but I could take shots in 1942. So I can take a shot of this. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. That was tough, but I am about to. What time is it? It's currently 3.40. I'm leaving to the airport at 5 o'clock once I'm done with work. So... I'm about to take a shower real quick and just get dressed so that I can finish like throwing little things in my suitcase, like my skincare and stuff like that. So let's head over to the bathroom. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Day 75 is your 75. Thank you so much, Joyce. Enjoy your evening. You too, ma'am. live from Casa Kinesthetic. I got in super late last night. I probably got in like at 12, 12 30. So when I got in, I showered and then I went to lay down to edit a vlog and then I ended up falling asleep. So I was exhausted, like literally exhausted. So I'm really happy that I am back home. <laughs> you guys, I had so many packages 
waiting for me. We're gonna open some of them together. But the first one of business girl, <laughs> I thought I cleared everything that could spoil out of my fridge and I didn't. So I'm about to do that real quick so that I could put that bag outside. Cause I don't wanna smell anything. I don't wanna smell anything. I don't wanna see anything. So I'm gonna just get rid of it now. And that, what's this? Oh, um, and then we're gonna open the packages. So let go. I don't have my um, tripod out my suitcase yet. So I'm gonna have to get that when I go in the garage. But let me strap up, strap this strap. But either way, you guys, everything smells brand new. It's so weird that I haven't been here in over a month. My house smells new. It's just that it has furniture in it. My car smells brand new. Like, everything literally smells brand new. And I low-key like it, okay? All right, so I was going to bring my packages inside, but girl, I don't need no bugs inside. So we're just going to start opening. Let me get my scissors. I put you guys on a tripod so it should be a little better. But let's just open these up. Some of them are clothing items. So I'm going to do a collective try on haul. Y'all going to see that real soon, okay? Because I need y'all to shop these things before they sell out. But I'm not going to show them in this unboxing because I'll show you guys in that video. But first package. Oh, it's from Dermalogica. So they hit me up and asked me if i wanted like a re-up on anything and i said yes indeed i said yes 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 so they sent me a special cleansing gel this is the only cleanser that i've been using for like the past year if you know you know this stuff is so good and then they also sent me a pre-cleanse which is the oral cleanser that i use to remove my makeup so these two from dermalogica my faves make sure y'all get these okay that's that. I placed an order on Sephora. And I know, I know, I know. The sale's coming up. Okay, it's here. It's actually April 5th to April 15th. But literally the day after I placed my order, I saw the post about the sale. It's okay because I needed these things anyways. Oh no, hold on. You gotta stay on a little bit longer. Okay, so from Sephora, I got another Topicals Faded Serum because the one that I have is literally folded up into a dime. So I had to get another one of these. So good. If you're trying to get rid of like acne scars, dark spots, whatever, this is your girl. Well, let me say dark spots and hyperpigmentation because I got another product for acne scars. But this is your girl for dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And just to even out and smooth out your skin tone. And then... I got this, which is going to help with acne scars. So this is the Topicals Sealed Primer. I feel like not many people are really speaking about this, especially compared to the other products. But it's actually a primer for makeup. But I'm not going to use it as a primer. I'm going to use it in like my night skincare routine because this product is formulated with peptides, retinol, medical grade, silicone, and papain. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to help with my acne scars. And acne scars are like when you have those like ice pick indents. So yeah. And then I got this Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Strong. My girl still, she always talks about this. And I'm a MAC chestnut girl through and through. But we want to try new things. We want to try new things. So I got that. I got this. This is the Sephora. If you know me, you know I am obsessed with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. But now they have a glow version. So I'm really interested in seeing, you know, what this is hitting for, especially for like the no makeup, makeup days, especially since the weather's getting warmer. 
we want to try new things and then i got this topicals six slick style this has been sold out forever this is the new topicals lip balm i've been hearing mixed reviews on her i ain't gonna lie some people saying she good some people saying she's sticky so i'm definitely gonna give you guys an update i'm gonna give you guys my review after i use it for a while we're gonna see what it's hitting for and then i got this which is my new fave this is the summer fridays lip balm and mint this stuff right here I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. So, yeah. That's all I got from the floor. This package, I don't know who it's from. Oh, also, I should open the, the today's vlog. Today's portion of the vlog saying this. Today's February 28th. It's my mother it's sister's birthday. Okay? It is my sister's birthday. So, happy birthday, Ted. <laughs> This is the first birthday we're not spending together in a while, but we'll chat more when I get inside. But it just didn't sit right with my fault, my soul, and my spirit. That I came on camera and did it, you know, make my little unbox. Yeah. Why is it right with me? What's this from? Oh, it's from Tiffany. I don't know who that is. So, you guys remember a few vlogs ago, I had went to that um fall winter shoe showroom in new york city so some brands didn't have like enough sizes or they were just like we'll ship it to you <laughs> they shipped it to me so this is from the brand busy bees which is basically it's been acquired by the brand stride right so they had these shoes and i was intrigued these shoes are machine washable free foam foot they have free foam foot pads they have dynamic stretch uppers and they are a air infused outsole yeah outsole <laughs> but these are them these don't look like any sneaker we usually go for but i once again we want to try new things and i think these would be cute with like a sweatpant cuddled over them the laces you don't have to untie so this is what got me this was the selling point this was the tsa friendly part and if you know me you know i do not like going through tsa's too much y'all want me to take off everything down to my braids to go through the metal detector i don't have nothing on me but these you could like slip them on and off like they're literally slippers they feel so comfortable they're super lightweight so shout out to busy bees for sending this over to me shout out to busy bees so i got these oh next up we have a package from ralph lauren Ooh, ralph lauren romance it's a fragrance it is a fragrance i'm so excited to smell this so this is the packaging Ralph Lauren Romance. Oh, she fancy, huh? Oh my God. Uh, so cute, right? <sighs> oh my God. I almost don't want to touch it. <laughs> I want to smell it though. Okay. Look at the bottle. Ooh. Sure scent. So shout out to Ralph Lauren for sending this over to me. Thank you so 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 much. Next up, I got a package from Cancel Beauty. So if you know me, you know I loved. I still love their products, but I just haven't used anything recently. But they reformulated their core collection, and honestly, it could be a good or a bad thing because I felt like the leave-in conditioner. If you know me, you know that leave-in conditioner was my jam, and I said, don't touch it. So don't touch it let's see so experience the new cancel experience the new cancel Ooh, oh they sent over the goodie but what's all in here is a conditioner sulfate free hydrating cream conditioner sulfate free cleansing Cream shampoo, moisturizing curl activation cream. My girl, the leave in conditioning repair hair cream. We're gonna have to see what that's hitting for. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute! This head wrap. <gasps> 
Oh, this is cute. Oh my God. I hope they sell this at Target so I can link it for you guys. They sent over a detangling and define brush. They sent over a pick. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's like a wooden texture. Y'all know I love me a pick. And then they sent over this coconut curling cream. So shout out to Ken too. I'm definitely going to try these products out and let you guys know what I think. But all of these are formulated with no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no flat dates, no dried alcohol, no propylene glycol. So we're going to see what this is hit. I'm going to leave this in the packaging so that I can get a picture for IG. I have placed an order on Amazon to get this that I've been meaning to get forever. So y'all know I'm always complaining like, oh my God, my phone fell when I was in the shower washing my hair. And I keep saying I have to order the thing that it could stay up and I finally ordered it. It was on sale on Amazon. So this is it. Yeah, I can't really see, but it's basically like a suction cup and you could put it anywhere. And it's by the brand new Lonzi, which is a brand that my tripods come from, so. Super excited to try this out, figure out how to work it so that I don't have to complain about my phone falling in the shower anymore. This package is from, this might be another pair of shoes. Ooh, it's kind of heavy though, hold on. What's this? It's shiny. My Dove family really just spoils me. Like, they really just spoil me. So they sent over this Dove hand wash. In here, remember that time they sent me skims, girl. Hmm, oh, this box is fire. Probiotic boost skincare motion helps repair, helps restore skin barrier for all day softness. Cure as you can, so cute. So, in here, we have three different hand washes. We have this one, which is the prebiotic boost soothing therapy with oatmeal and ceramides. This is the prebiotic boost for gentle detox. It has marine algae and adaptogen. And then this is the prebiotic boost dryness remedy. Ooh, I need this one with acai and peptides because the hands be real dry. So shout out to Del for sending these over to me. I'm super excited to try these out. We're almost done, guys. Ooh, this is from a L'Oreal brand. But as I open this, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. Because none of these opportunities would be available if it wasn't for y'all. So shout out to y'all. What's this? Oh. Oh my God. This is from Mason Marjola. So cute. Ooh. And it smells amazing. Mm, that's why I have to look in the box like, did this open? But it just smells so good. So they sent over their new scent, which is from the garden. So they sent over the fragrance and the candle. I'm kind of more hyped for the candle. <laughs> but it smells, it literally smells like the perfect spring day. Like the most perfect spring day you could plan in your head. This is what it smells like. This has a notes of, it says earth and tomato leaves. And... Oh my god, it just smells so good. So, shout out to Mason Margiela, Rock Book for sending this over to me. I am blessed. Thank you, God. Last package. I think this is why I sell beauty. They love these black mailers. <laughs> I was correct. This is why I sell beauty. They sent over their Lash Clash mascara, the waterproof one. Y'all know I love this mascara, and the waterproof one is right on time for like the spring, summer season. So, shout out to why I sell beauty. Ooh, this one has like the blue ISL. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited. So shout out to all of the brands who sent over goodies. Super happy, super grateful, super appreciative. Thank you guys once again for the unwavering support. Y'all are just so amazing. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know that? If y'all never heard it before, I'm here to let you know that you are amazing. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and do some IG stories for some brands and I want to try these clothes on. I want to try some of these clothes on. So I'll see y'all in a few. I think I took the cake y'all. I think I took the cake. I think I took the cake cause my Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> it is about to be March 1st and my Christmas tree is still up. 
We are well into Q1 and my Christmas tree is still up. And my Christmas decorations. And my Christmas decorations. <laughs> but I'm gonna get it together, I promise. I'm about to um, take these down. I'll start here. And I did bring some like um, decorations from home that I'm gonna kinda like swap them out with, so. Tis the season to wrap it up, okay? This is so cute, it's like a candle holder. I got this from like Home Goods on Marshalls. I had it on my radiator back home and I thought it would fit in perfectly here. I'm not sure if I wanna spray paint it black. I'm gonna see like how everything looks together and then go from there. But you guys can always let me know your opinions. So, <laughs> the Christmas decorations are really taking me out. But I have one more package that I forgot to share with you guys. It's from Smashbox Cosmetics. They sent me over this primer, a foundation, and a card game. I love a thoughtful PR box. I used to use this primer a long, long time ago. And I just haven't reached for it. But I'm really intrigued with this card game because it says, warning. Skin deep connections won't survive this game. So let's see what it's given. Okay, this is real cute. It's more of like um prompts versus, I mean, it could be like a conversation starter game too, but it says like, um, what's something you love to share? What's something you love doing alone? Describe the inside of your brain like it's a house. What's something you wish people talked about less? So it's basically, to me, I'm going to use these as journaling prompts. But if you're having like a girls night or you're getting to know someone, this would be a great card game. I have to see if they sell this because I can link this down below. Y'all know I love me a card game. But either way, thank you so much Smashbox, Smashbox Cosmetics for sending this over. I really want to see if this foundation is my shade. This is a Smashbox Always On Foundation, which has hyaluronic acid. Okay. Box. I have this shade. Oh, they sent me the shade T20W. So let's see. Okay, this could do. This could do. I don't know if you guys could see. It's kind of unclockable, but it feels good. So I'm really excited. Thank you, Smashbox. But either way. I have a ton of things. Let me show y'all. <laughs> I have a ton of things to like unbox and unwrap. So all of my my breakable can I speak? All of my breakable items that I brought from New York, my mom wrapped them up real nicely for me. And I'm about to open them. So this is some Faux flowers. I actually got these from Dollar Tree and I had them in a vase in my room. But I said I'm gonna bring them to H Town. They look so good. Do not sleep on Dollar Tree flowers, y'all. I think this is the vase that I have it in. So I had those flowers in this vase. I got this vase from Target years ago, but it's like this black stained glass, super cute. So I had these flowers in here. I'll put this over here for now, because I need to remove these Christmas decorations, and it's gonna look so weird. this photo frame i need to print a photo to go in it but it's like a floating photo frame super cute i have this photo frame with this picture of big m and i this was my graduation from little stars like preschool super cute this is the burger king parking lot on 235th street if you know you know that burger king is still there years later Yes, ah, I love this. And then 
I also have this photo frame, which doesn't have a photo in it. I have this thing, <laughs> thingamajiggy. I don't know what you would call this. I think it's like a lantern, cause it's supposed to like hang, cause it has like this hook. Can y'all see the hook? But I just had it on my radiator. And I had a photo inside of it. It has like this little door. And I had this Polaroid photo of Darcy and I, my girl Darcy. Hey girl, hey. I don't know if she watches my vlogs, but this little photo frame I had got from like um, Home Goods or Marshalls, but this picture is from our first holiday party when we were working at our first big four firm together this was my first christmas party so super cute super cute memory darcy and i went to college together and we also started our professional careers together that's my girl okay so i'm just gonna put it in this Oh, shot glasses. I got this one in Ghana. Oh, I think Kim got this for me from Ghana the year before I went. She had went and she bought this as a little souvenir for me. Ghana shot glass. ADR shot glass. And what's this? Oh, this little elephant. I got this when I traveled to either Bali or Malaysia. I'm not sure where I got this from, but it's super cute. I love the details on this, so it's just like a little trinket. That's that. We're almost done. This is a eucalyptus mint candle from White Barn. Love this scent. I started burning it in my room, but it's not done yet. So I brought it with me. This is so refreshing. And then I think this is the last one. Oh, <laughs> these are my freaking um, gels. So if you guys watch my maintenance vlog, I tell you guys that I finally found these TGI and gels in the beauty supply store on 125th Street. I think it was Apollo Beauty Supply Store. So I got three of these and they made it safely. Love that. So yeah, let me finish unpacking. so empty now that i took these christmas decorations the tree is gonna have to wait until later because i need to watch love is blood <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got dressed to go run some errands. I'm 
trying to do better with like you know just i just this vlog is going to consist of i should have put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video but this video is going to contain a lot of i'm trying to get my life together so bear with me bear with me but ootd let's get into it i'm wearing this sweatsuit from zara i purchased this a while ago so it's no longer available but if i find something similar i'll link it down below my Nike Romero sneakers, you guys have to get these sneakers. I keep posting when they restock, and they're literally the most comfortable sneakers that I have. I don't keep wanting to get a second pair, because they're so cute, like this white and silver colorway. So if you guys are thinking like, hmm, should I get them? I'm here to tell y'all, y'all need to get them. I'm wearing my YSL medium Lulu bag and my red Prada frames. And that's my cute little outfit to go run some errands. So I have everything that I need. So let's go. Ooh. This is going to be my first time driving since I've been back. And every time like I get back to driving, I get so nervous. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. Okay. Let me... Let me situate myself. Turn her on. Stormy, I miss you, girl. I miss you, girl. Oh, she's charged two and she got half a tank. What's good? What's popping? Period. Okay, let me lock up my house. Lock the door. Seatbelt on. Safety first, ladies and gents. And what are we going to listen to? Oh, I know what I want. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There's this new playlist on Apple. It's called Heavy Rotation. And it plays, like, all of the songs that you literally pay on repeat. I love that for me. I love that for me. Because one thing about me, I'm going to listen to the same song a couple of times. And RG is popping. The rodeo has started, baby. It is rodeo season. I cannot wait to go. I can't wait till y'all see my outfit. Period. First stop is Chipotle because I need something to eat. Ooh, and I have a free bowl. I have enough rewards to get me a free bowl so I don't feel guilty about this meal, okay? I hope this is a good, good. I need a fresh batch. I need everything hot and spicy. guys so i'm using my lancy mount for the first time period i'm about to do my morning skincare i've been up for a while now but i was like editing paying bills because it's the last of the month i was paying my bills child i was being an adult i was being a grown woman a very grown woman okay but either way morning skincare i'm gonna use this dermalogica cleanser oh gel. so this is the big body bands they did send me like the smaller size but that cleanser this cleanser does it for me each and every time i just put a little water really body these braids like i'm sorry but she did her biggest one she did her biggest one for me the two toothpaste i've been obsessed with this crest and this birth bees you trying to get white teeth 
This combo is going to do it for you. So skincare, I'm going to use this hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. This is the new one. So basically, they reformulated it. Can y'all see the focus? But they reformulated it. So now it has hyaluronic acid and ceramides that are going to help our skincare products soak up more into our skin and just to add more moisturization to the skin. So I never tried the old one before, but this one right here, I definitely feel like it also helped. Remember I had those breakouts in two vlogs ago? I was telling you guys how I had like some new breakouts. My like jawline, this area here has been breaking out so much, but I feel like the hyaluronic acid has been helping like with the recovery of those breakouts, if that makes sense. So I don't know if I'm just making that up or if that, that's a real thing. But I low-key feel like when I use this, I use too much. <laughs> so I need to slow down. But this product is only like 8 bucks in Ulta. Do what y'all gotta do with that info. I like to apply that to my skin while it's still damp. So that as like the water from my skin seeps into the skin. So does the hyaluronic acid. So I just let that dry down a bit. And then I'm following up with my Paula's Choice Toner. This stuff right here. This stuff right here be so freaking good. And this is the big body. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> and then I let that dry down. Mm. Skin is already looking moisturized. We love that. And then I follow up with this Topicals Faded Serum. So I showed you guys I just ordered this new one from Sephora. I cannot live without this. This product has choic acid, tranexamic acid, melatonin, niacinamide, licorice root, azelaic acid. It got all the goods in here, okay? I've been using this for the past two years and I literally swear by this serum right here. So this is my oil. This is my own one, and I know you guys are probably looking like, girl, how is that the same thing as this? It is, okay? I like to foam mine up and get each and every drop out of it. This is what it looks like when it's unfolded, just so we can see the comparison. But I really be getting all up in there, folding it up. So this is <laughs> what it looks like. And then for reference, this is the new one. Y'all see that? Yeah, I'll be making sure I get everything out of here. And I still feel like I ain't get everything. So it's going to stay right there until I have the energy. But I like to take like this much. Work it into my skin. I have so many dark spots over here. So... This morning, I'm going to take before pictures so that I can track the progress of my skin's progression within the next month, two months, basically until my birthday, okay? Because my birthday is coming up. My birthday is coming up faster than I expected, and I still don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. <laughs> oh my god, the pressure is getting worse and worse. I go with my sunscreen, the Paula's Choice sunscreen. This is the Youth Extending Daily Hydration Fluid, which has SPF 50. I go by the three finger rule. So just put sunscreen on three fingers. And that should give you the appropriate amount that you need for your initial application of sunscreen throughout the day. And I say initial because you should be reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not always the best with that but i try so everybody needs to be wearing sunscreen everybody i just felt like i needed to say so here it is and i started doing something for i don't know if you guys could see like my ice pick scars here but i started doing something for that so i'll show you guys in my nighttime skincare routine which i'll share sometime throughout this vlog I want to try this today, the topical slick salve. I got this from Sephora as I showed you guys in yesterday's segment of the vlog. But I want to do a first impression to TikTok. So I'm about to turn my camera. I'm about to, I don't know how to do this. 
Oh, I guess like this. Yeah. Oh, this um suction cup is lit. All right. Like what? Yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna link this down below my Amazon shop. If you are a creator, you need this. This right here. This you need it. Okay, I'm back here with you guys. Give it a little space. Yeah. So I'm back. I'm obsessed with this uh camera mount, but. I use this for the first time. I'm sure I'll upload my review on YouTube Shorts, but I could see how people were complaining about the stickiness of this product. Everybody was like, so sticky, so sticky, so sticky. I feel it, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. So I don't I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And my lips kind of feel like heavy. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like two magnets. Like when I do this. It's like they're way down, if that makes sense. Either way, I'm going to keep using this and I'll keep y'all updated on what I think about her. I am ready to start my day. And I like to listen to music as I start my day. So let's see what we're going to listen to. Oh, this? Hmm. This song right here. I think that Jada Kingdom sprinkled a little Chris Knack in it. Because there's no way I'm this addicted to this song. Like... I'm definitely linking this down below. Of course, my battery's dying. I'm a content creator. Of course, my battery's dying. I gave y'all a whole tutorial and I was not recording. <laughs> Bro. Okay, so here is the mount. It's super lightweight. To put it up, you just place it where you want it to go, right? You suction it and then you just push this button and it stays up. This is where the camera sits, so you can adjust it to turn it to landscape mode. Let me zoom in for y'all. Yeah, you can adjust it to turn it to landscape mode or portrait mode. And then when you're ready to take it up, you just, it's this little tap right here. You just lift that up and it comes off. So, yeah, but let me get in the kitchen. Why did a little piece of my camera break? And I'm just like so emotional. <laughs> because like, I don't know how that happened. Like, oh my God. But either way, I got dressed because I need to run some errands. So I have to go to Trader Joe's and I also have to go to Aldi. I need to get some items for my juicing. I think I'll do that first and then Trader Joe's, I need to get my usual goodies. So I'm about to get up and go during my little break. This gloomy weather has me ready to just crawl back into my bed and rub my feet under them covers, okay? But we move, we move. So let me get y'all up on the tripod so I can show y'all my outfit real quick. Hey, my loves. So outfit of the day, I'm wearing this red sweatsuit. This is from Tier NYC. It's a straight leg sweatpants, which I love. I'm wearing my, y'all guessed it, my Nike Romero's. By the end of this vlog, if you don't click that link down below and get you a pair, like you literally need a pair. These sneakers are so comfortable. And if you have a pair, comment and let everybody know how comfortable they are so that they can go ahead and get them too. My bag, I'm just wearing my Prada bag with the strap on it because I don't know if I'm going to want to change it to crossbody. So I just have it like this right now. And then fragrance, I'm wearing my Fenty Beauty. Bridgetown all day parfum. Oh, it smells so good. Let 
Let's go. Ooh. Every time we link, it be sneaky. Oh, I Target has some journals on sale, but why I came over here, I wanted one of these for the longest, but I kind of want to bring back to bigger, like, if it was this size, but like, clear, I would be such it. So I just got back in my car, and look y'all, just started pouring rain. And one thing about rain in Houston, or Texas, it will go from 0 to 100 but I have one more stop to make on my little errands run I might just call and catch a play Marshall's has some I might just come see you again You wait on stuck up in my bed But love it when I'm playing games That's the only way we get away We stuck together You must forever so all of my groceries from Aldi, which I just showed you guys, came to $48. If you're not shopping at Aldi, I don't know what to tell you, but as you guys can tell by the range of items I picked up, your girl is about to start juicing again. Period. But I went to Marshall's and I got some goodies. So first of all, I got these earrings. Like, I'm obsessed. I showed you guys that Marshall's had some cute earrings. But these, with the break, girl, just wait on it. Just wait on it. I got this because you guys saw I was washing my brushes earlier in the vlog. And I'm like, I need one of these. So this one has like the suction cup. So it'll sit like on the side of my sink. And I could just like sweep my brushes on it. So this was only $4.99 from Marshall's. And the earrings I showed you guys, these were $14.99, just so you know. And then I got these. <laughs> Your girl, I actually need to sign up for a yoga class this evening. But either way, I got these two yoga blocks to $7.99 because the last time I went to class, my instructor was showing us like variations of the flows and the stretches. And she was like, you know, if you have a yoga block, and I'm like, I don't have one of those. So I saw this two pack for $7.99, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then last but not least, I bought this little plant. Y'all saw that small one I showed y'all in Target for $15? Yeah, no. So I got this one from Marshalls and it was $6.99. So that when I put my shelves up in my guest bathroom, I could put this on the shelf as like a piece of decoration. Just like, you know, a little pop of greenery. So that's what I got from 
Marshalls. And then I also have went into Target and I got these yogurts. So I love these yogurts. I eat them on their own. I put them in my smoothies and they have them on sale this week. Four for five from Target. So you basically end up paying like a dollar and like 20 cents for each one. So I got eight more. I have picked up eight yesterday, but I needed eight more. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and put it away. And then I'm going to check out Trader Joe's to get what I need. So I'll be back. The tree is about to be gone, but I need y'all help because y'all gotta tell me what I can put in this space. Y'all have to tell me what I can put in this space. So when I take the tree down, I'll let you guys see like how much space is there so that we can chat about the options and like ideas that happen in my head because y'all be seeing me and I'll be seeing y'all. so cold so out of all of that i got four mason jars of juice and i drink one already <laughs> y'all this juice is so good i found this recipe on tiktok i just go on tiktok and i put in juicing recipes and then if you have like something specific you want to put in the juice i just put that in so you can put like juicing recipes with lemons juicing recipes with oranges and it'll come up and you choose whatever you like but this is right here this is this is my number one girl right now period but i have some pears green apples and celery that i have froze when i left houston to go away so they're defrosting in the sink right now and then i'll probably juice those tomorrow and 
I also have some more stuff that I bought today. I have two more pineapples. I have two bags of lemons. I have um, more apples, ginger. So I'm going to make more juices tomorrow. But I'm about to get ready to head out so I could go to Trader Joe's before my yoga class. But let me show you guys what I did. So for some time now, I was trying to figure out like what I want these shelves to look like. Like I have an idea in my head. I just need to find the items. So I put that little plant that I bought today up here and it's so cute. This area was definitely missing like greenery. So I think I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to go back to Marshall's to get like more because they had like a few different greenery options. So I'm going to get something else to put like here. So it could be like that. And then I need to swap out these books. I need the books to be consistent and these are not consistent. Like the binding is off. I'll probably keep the two black ones and then the color ones, they got to go. So yeah, that's what's going on. Let me make sure I put the classes the right time. So yeah, I'm gonna go put some clothes on and head to yoga, my first yoga class back. And I have my block, I'm so hyped. I put it in my car so I'll make sure I didn't forget it. And I packed away my Christmas decorations as I showed you guys. The tree remains, but I took everything off of it. So tomorrow I'm gonna dismantle it and pack it away, so. Now I'm like back into like home project, getting my house together. I still need to find dining room chairs, y'all. <laughs> if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that I had ordered a dining room chair. I swore it fit the space and it didn't. So I took a break from looking because I just felt like, I don't know if defeated or overwhelmed are the right words to describe how I felt. but. I just felt like it was just not for me at the time. So now that I'm getting my home together, I'm like, I need to start looking again. So that's what's going on. I also, I also saw this piece of art in Target that I might want to get to put in my dining room too. I should have bought it and if I didn't like it, I could have returned it. And it was on sale. But either way, I'm going to get my house together. So you guys will see me do like some home stuff in this vlog. But I will be back once I head out the house because I've been sitting here for a while just chilling. I just threw on this Target um, jumpsuit. <laughs> and I wanted to give you guys an update on this. The Tappy Gals Le Bon. So I put this on this morning, and literally by the time I was ready to go run errands, my lips were dry. And I'm like, what did I put on my lips? Because my lips usually don't feel like this. And it was this. But I'm going to try it again. I'm going to keep trying it because I don't really know like what my issue is with it. So once I put my finger on it, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm gonna let y'all know. But as of right now, I'm not really a fan. Mm -mm. I'm gonna keep trying it though. Because I want to give it a fair chance. But the way that I love the Summer Fridays, I'm like, if you're not doing what Summer Fridays does for me, I'm a little like, I'm a little like, you know, when you have something you love that works for you, it's hard to replace it. It's hard. I'm using this TGI and gel. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it to stuck my edges down. I never used it on my edges before. So I'm just trying stuff out because my Godspeed is too far away. I'm obsessed with Love is Blind TikTok. Like literally the show, I know how it was gonna end because I ended up running into a TikTok that gave spoilers of the rest of the season. I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. So I'm still watching it just to watch it, but Love is Blind TikTok is lit. Like, people's commentary, people's reactions really be having me more weak than me watching the actual season. But either way, I went to Trader Joe's, Ch Ch Trader Joe's, Ch 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 Trader Joe's, and I got some things. So let me show y'all what I got real quick. I got some re-ups, and I also got some new things to try. So first up, I got these ciabatta rolls. Love these for making sandwiches. I got two bags of these pita chips. Yum, 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 super good. And then I also got this roasted garlic hummus 
to eat with the pita chips. I got some almond milk because I've been liking my oatmeal with almond milk. I got some vegan cream cheese. This is my favorite vegan cream cheese right now. It's super affordable, especially compared to the Vile Life and other, you know, dairy-free cream cheeses on the market. I got this Harvest Chili. Love this. When you add rice and chicken to it, fire. Fire. And then I got this. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before we get into the new stuff, I got another... Brazilian nut body oil. I told you guys about this when I was back in New York and I didn't want to bring the one from New York here because if it spilled in my bag, I would have been sick. So I left that one home and I went ahead and picked another one up. I got some cumin because I want to try to make something this weekend and the recipe called for cumin. Cumin or cumin? I'm going to say cumin because cumin spell like this though, it don't really sit right with me. So I got that for the recipe. I got this to try. This is a Trader Joe's chicken flavor instant ramen soup. So I may actually eat this tonight because I don't feel like cooking anything. And it's already 8.42. And I got this to try. This is a sweet and salty umami crunchies rice crackers. I don't know. We're going to try this. So... Try this now, actually. Let me wash my hands. Umami crunchies. Umami. Let's see what it's hitting for. If it's trash, it's going bad. Okay. I'm not really a fan of the smell. <laughs> this is how they look in the bag. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not for me. It literally tastes like burnt rice crackers. So that's going bad. But I'm going to make this for dinner. It says microwave, remove the pour contents from seasoning into a cup. Oh, so this is how it is. It has the soup. <laughs> it has, what's this? Oh, it's like um, something in a packet, a liquid in a packet. Um, who is this feeding? This thing is small. And then it has this. So let's, let's see what this gives. Let me get a bowl. Let's see what this gives, Trey Joe's. I can't bring this one back, but I won't buy it again. I'll tell you that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the bowl. And then this up in here. I'm gonna open this liquid thing. I don't know how to open this. 16 carriages. And this is a friggin' kid's meal. And then this. This is like, um, oh, like the chicken flavor, I'm guessing. And then it says, oh, it's oil. That's what it was. Add room temperature water to fill line. What line? I think I was supposed to make it in here. Oh, I see the line. Oh, I'm going to microwave it. Gonna stray, had to leave my home at an early age. I 
So I was craving like an Asian cuisine. So I forgot who told me to try this place called Rice Box here in Houston, Texas. But we're going to try it today. So I'm currently five minutes away. I also didn't want to go anywhere that was too far. Because after I eat, I need to go back home. And I need to finish editing a vlog to post tomorrow. Because I'm giving you guys... A vlog on Saturday and then I'm also gonna give you guys a vlog on Sunday I'm just trying to play catch up because if you guys don't know I was behind on editing towards my end of my New York stay so I'm just trying to catch up so that I can give you guys like relevant content because I hate when people do something and they post a vlog two months later and it's like that was a minute ago so I'm not trying to be that girl so I'm gonna push this content out for you guys even if it's not on my content schedule and it makes me happy it makes you guys happy and i love when we're both happy so yeah but i'll see you guys when i get there because I, I i i really forgot that people in houston cannot drive like so it's still the same price with no what okay so let me get a sign So I finally got my food. It took forever, but they gave me two fortune cookies, two of their um, house-made sweet, sweet chili sauces. I got two entrees. I was feeling real spicy. Um, one side was white rice. Even if you didn't get the side, it was still the same price. So I'm like, let me just get two filled meals, and I'll just eat whatever's left. Later, oh, this orange chicken is real good. They even got oranges in here. I've never seen no orange chicken with live oranges in here. This is how it looks. I'll show you guys when I lay everything out. Duck sauce, soy sauce. I got another side of broccoli. Oh, wait, why they gave me two? Oh, no. I got two white rices because the broccoli was extra. I said, uh uh. And then I got these, um, salt and pepper wings so these look too good they smell amazing salt and pepper wings so let me um i'll save this rice for later i'm making a tiktok so let me record my meal okay this looks so good let me show y'all the so these are the wings, the salt and pepper wings, the orange chicken, and the white rice. Let's dig in. I'm going to try the orange chicken. Mm. Very orangey. So I just finished eating. I did not eat all that food, y'all. I saved some of it for later. Well, most of it. I was here. I feel like I felt hungry. And then when I got the food, it was like, hmm. Huh? So here's my review. So the wings, I'll give them like a 5.5, 6 out of 10. Like, they're crunchy, but they're not really seasoned. Like, the breading was seasoned, but I feel like not the actual chicken. Does that make sense? So... 5.5 out of 10. I'm standing on that. The orange chicken is cool. But 
I think that in my mind, I was expecting it to taste like Chinese store orange chicken. And it was just giving like orange chicken. Does that make sense? So, I'll give the orange chicken like a 6.5. 6. I'll give them a, the orange chicken a 7 out of 10. It was okay. And then the lemonade was cool. And then, what else? The rice was cool. I feel like you can't really... I'm not even going to say you can't mess up rice. Because I done had some rice that was messed up. So I ain't going to say you can't ruin rice. Even though they are rice cookers. That's what I use because I don't know how to make rice. But either way, it was cool. I remember I was watching this girl's video one time. And she was like, yeah, I came here like three times during my trip. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I always have to remember... People don't have the same taste buds, especially people who are not from New York. Us New Yorkers, we have good taste in food because we know what good food is. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, we know what seasoned food is. We have a diverse range of food, multiple options, not just one Chinese store, not just one Italian spot, like, multiple options. So, we tested the waters, okay? We tested the waters. We know what works. We know what we like. We know what to look forward to. And when we don't get that... That's when points are deducted. That's when points are deducted. And honestly, I used to be watching Keith Slee TikTok all the time until he came to New York. And he did New York so wrong. Like, there are so many fire spots that he could have tried in New York. But I wasn't recommending anything to him because I didn't need a line at any of my spots. I didn't need any of my spots increasing their prices. My spots are my spots. But even as far as cuisines, I feel like... How you come to New York and you don't get some good Jamaican food? He had Trini food. I think he went to like a roti shop in Queens. But he didn't have like Jamaican food. Like jerk chicken off a grill. He didn't have that. What else he didn't try? He didn't try any Italian food. But in general, one thing I don't... Like I love Keith Lee. I respect his hustle. I respect what he does. But personally, me, I'm not trusting someone who doesn't try different types of food. You know what I'm saying? Like... Granted, he has allergies, but I think he's only allergic to shellfish, if I'm not mistaken. But other than that, babes, try some Italian food, some Chinese food, some vegan food. He did try vegan food in New York. It was a spot in Brooklyn. But I just feel like he needs to diversify the types of food that he tries. That's just my opinion. Because it's but so much burger and fry you're going to give me. It's but so much burger and fry you're going to give me. But either way, I am... Yeah, why would he put his big dusty truck right here and I was just about to exit this way? I'm wrong if I ask him. I'm wrong if I ask him if he's moving. Hi, are you moving? Hi, are you moving? Well, I was gonna go out this way. Oh, uh, you fixing a takeoff right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Back up. Okay, thank you. Because he blocked up the whole thing. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today's Saturday, March 2nd. And y'all, why did I lay down to take a nap when I got home yesterday? And it turned into a whole sleep. It turned into a whole sleep. So, I'm getting ready now to head to the gym. First, like, official workout since I've been back because I went to yoga class, but, you know, that's the instructor session. And it also wasn't me lifting weights. So, today's my first day back at weight training. And I don't know how I feel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while. I haven't been, like, in the gym since January, so... Yeah, March should be very eventful. I was kind of upset that I missed March 1st, like the first of the month going to the gym. That sleep was too good. <laughs> that sleep was too good. I didn't wake up until like 10 o'clock and I believe the gym was already closed at that time anyway. So I got up, I showered and I shaved. I shaved myself, I shaved my whole body. I feel like a naked mole wrap. But either way, I'm about to head to the gym. Oh, okay, so I have half a water, a 
full water. My wellness shot. This is the ginger shot from Aldi. My ginger shot. I'll take that after my workout. My tripod to put you guys on. And where's the, oh. I need my wallet. My wallet. Car key. extra battery because this one is actually about to die Hey guys so i just came from like running some errands and i'm back home and i got a pure package in the mail which i'm really excited about it's from milk makeup and i know that it's either their new lip oils that are dropping on march 5th or their um i think it's called like their clear jelly tints that you can use like on your eyes on your cheeks or on your lips so let's go ahead and see what it is i'm super excited i'm super excited i'm trying not to break my nail <laughs> being a girl is so hard okay all right what do we think it is the lippies or the the lippies or the six Yeah, I literally was in Sephora yesterday and I was looking for it. And then when I looked online, it was like, it's not dropping until March 5th. But girl, we got them. Oh, I'm so excited. This case is so freaking cute. Definitely keeping this. High grade hydration, Kush lip oil. And then look at it. Look at the inside. Look at the inside. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This is the inside. She's so stunning. So it says, did you know that most lip oils aren't actually aren't actually even oils? That's why they're either too sticky, too thick, or too drying. Interesting. We packed our new Kush lip oil with the highest concentration of hydrating oils possible to create one of the most natural lip oils you've ever tried. Slick them for a sheer tint, pop of shine, and flavor so good you'll want to reapply on repeat. With six ton flavors, there's a cushion for whatever you're craving. High grade hydration. Four nourishing oils deliver an intense hit of hydration for smoother, fuller looking lips. Hemp seed oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and camellia Japa, japonica seed oil. They're 97% natural, clean, vegan, cruelty free. And they're coming soon internationally for all my international babes. So here are all six shades. All six shades. Ooh. And then there's a little open me for a secret stash inside. They, ooh, they sent over their Kush mascara too and like this little drawer compartment. This is so cute. So I'm looking at the shades. And I feel like this one, just looking at the colors of them, this one might be my favorite. This one with the brownish tint. This is in the shade. I miss being bold in my nails. 
This is in the shade Chocolate Cake. It's this color right here. I'm just gonna swatch it just to see. But I do wanna do a um, TikTok swatching all of them. So make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. Let me spell it. It smells like something. I can't put my finger on it though, but let's see. Oh yeah, it definitely gives oil. Mm -hmm. It gives oil. It's not too sticky, it's not too heavy. It's not too slippery. It's not giving clean up on aisle five. Yeah, they know what they talking about. They know what they talking about. Like when I think of a lip oil, this is what comes to mind. Like, it smells like something. I can't put my finger on it though, but this is chocolate cake. Cute. So make sure you guys follow me on TikTok to see how all of the shades look on my melanated skin. But I didn't tell you guys, but I'm going to dinner tonight with my girl Dez. I have not seen Dez since we went to the Burning Boy concert back in November. So girl, we are in for a huge catch up session. We are going to go to dinner tonight. We're going to get cute. We're going to take pictures. My first time taking pictures with these berets. I'm in some high. And I also, let me tell y'all this. The food yesterday, it lost like another two points for me. I forgot what we were at yesterday. But basically, I came home, I was editing, I got a little hungry. I'm like, okay, let me warm up some of the food to enjoy as I edit. Have y'all ever had food? This is very rare too. Have y'all ever had food that it tastes right when it's fresh, like when it's served hot at the restaurant or whatever? And then when you take it home and you try to have it as like a leftover or later on in the day, it just doesn't hit. It doesn't hit at all. It's just like, what is this? That is what the food yesterday gave. So I literally couldn't even eat it hours later because it just tasted like, I don't even know what. It was bad. It was bad. I'm going to be honest. It was bad. I wouldn't recommend. In my head, I'm like, damn, I should have just went and got kava. It would have been less because i paid 35 dollars for all that food which i'm not mad about because it was a good amount of food but it's a food it's the fact that the food didn't taste good y'all get what i'm saying so either way i say all of that to say i really had a craving for orange chicken and the fact that i got it and it didn't really satisfy my my appetite i was a little pissed off i'm not gonna lie so i went to the grocery store and i got the missing ingredients that i need to basically make orange chicken at home and I have the rice left over from it. The rice was cool. As I told you, it's very hard to mess up rice. So the rice is cool. But since I have the rice, I'm like, what can I make to go with it? I was like, I'm going to make my own orange chicken. So we're going to do that in a few. But I'm going to tidy up around the house a little bit. And um, I need to start editing a vlog to post on Sunday. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll get back on camera. I'm trying to think if I should go live on YouTube to get ready with you guys because YouTube upgraded so now you can go on live on your phone. Before I used to use my computer but now I can use my phone. So I low-key want to get on live tonight as I'm getting ready. So if I'm not too overwhelmed, I'll do it. And hopefully you guys catch it. I hope YouTube notifies you guys when I get on. But let me go ahead and tidy up around the house. And then we're going to make this chicken. So I finally whipped these slippers out. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was gifted these Skims bedroom slippers from Dove. And I can't find my usual pink slippers, so I brought these out. Y'all, these are so comfy. I literally want to go purchase either the brown or the black pair, if they're still even available. But they're so freaking comfortable. And they have like a, hold on, let me show y'all. They have like a little platform but they're like super comfortable and like bouncy they look real cute especially with my white tones <laughs> this is my um tripod oh it's in my office but i was just laying down watching my little um instagram pages i was gonna take a nap but i realized that if i took a nap it would only be like an hour and once i got up i would be super just like grumpy so i just was just keeping myself company laying down relaxing but i i have been scrolling on this instagram page it's 
reality entertainment TV. So this page posts like about all shows, so like all of the Housewives, um, Impact New York. I think they do um, Bad and what is it, Bougie? Bad and Bougie. All the shows they post, like Love and Hip, everything is on here. So they put like one minute clips, but it's basically like the most interesting parts of episodes. So I have not watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't think ever. I watch it like here and there with Kim, but like catching it with it every week, I've never been that girl. So I was interested in seeing the reunion because I saw that Dorit was doing her biggest one this season, but I'm just like, they don't have enough, like, I don't know if it's just me, but I can only do the Black Housewives. I'm sorry, I can only do the Black Housewives. I can only do the Black Housewives. Salt Lake City was an exception because they, oh, they were spicy, season four. But I do Potomac. I'm gonna do Atlanta this upcoming season and my girl Portia is coming back. But I can't do the majority of the non-black cast. I just can't do it. So, you know, I want to keep up with the tea. I want to keep up with everybody, especially since I watch the girls' trips. The Real Housewives girls' trips. And it's a combination of, like, the girls from different cities. So I always like to just be in the know to understand what everyone's character is like. So this page is cute because I was able to literally get a recap of Beverly Hills and um, Miami. I don't watch Miami either, no. Um, but I was able to get a brief recap of part one, two, three, whatever their up to their reunions that came on this past week. But I was just catching up on that. And then I was like, let me get up and eat something. I can't be the only person that eats before they go out for dinner. I can't be the only person. So let me show you guys what I'm making to eat real quick. So I have this rice from Rice Box yesterday. My leftover rice, I have a bowl. And I have this Harvest Chili from Trader Joe's. That's what this is. So I'm just gonna, I usually put um, rice and chicken, but I haven't cooked any chicken. That orange chicken, that'll be my lunch slash dinner for tomorrow because I did not have the energy to cook anything especially since i was going out to dinner i'm like this is a cute quick meal and then it's time to get ready because it's already 6 30 oh 6 49 and our reservation is for 9 p.m but i want to give myself enough time to do a makeup video I'm sure oh not this rice being hard ooh, jesus but i want to give myself enough time to do a makeup short form video and like a get ready with me outfit. So that's why I'm getting ready so early. Oh, speaking of Des. Hey girl. So I have my, um, my little, <laughs> this is not a little meal. This is a huge meal, but I need to make sure that my stomach is filled up while I'm doing stuff. <laughs> mm, it's still cold. It's still cold. Hey you guys, so I just showered. I was about to start getting ready to go out, but Des and I spoke and we agreed to go out tomorrow instead of tonight, which works out perfectly for her and for me as well because <laughs> if y'all didn't watch my meeting this vlog, make sure y'all go watch that. But I got laser on my armpits and my bikini area for the first time ever. And I wasn't aware that you can't wear deodorant 24 hours after you get laser. So where was I going in a strapless dress tonight, armpits exposed and no deodorant applied under my armpits? You let me know. <laughs> but either way, we're going to go out tomorrow. So you guys will see that in tomorrow's segment of the vlog. But I'm trying to figure out how I should spend my night. I kind of just want to relax and unwind because I haven't really had time to do that since I've been back in Houston. But I also wanted to try to edit tomorrow's vlog for you guys. If I was editing it on my laptop, it would have made life so much easier. But I already started editing it on my desktop, on my iMac. So I can't edit from my bed. But I really am not in the mood to edit tonight, I'm going to be honest. So either way, I ate some of my meal. Good thing I made that too. But the rice, it was hard. 
it was hard. And I'm just like, how was the food so, like, okay when I ate it the day of? And then, like, afterwards, it just went downhill. Like, I feel like majority of the food I try or eat is good when I first eat it. And then it's even better as leftovers, especially my food. When I cook at home, it hits when it's fresh, but then it hits even more the next day or later on when I warm it up for leftovers. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't recommend that place. But either way, I... I think I'm just gonna lay down and just relax and probably find something to watch on Netflix. I had started watching um this show, I believe it's called One Day. I was watching it during my braid appointment with Kim, but we were like chatting and stuff, so we were we weren't really paying attention. So I might try that show again. It's my remote control. Uh -huh. And then tomorrow I am getting up and going to the gym early and then I'm going to service. I haven't been to church since January. So I'm definitely going to church tomorrow. Tomorrow is first communion as well. So I need to get there early. So that's more of a reason for me to just relax inside tonight. And just, I guess, turn up tomorrow. I'm excited. I haven't seen Des in so long. And I'm actually going to see her more than once this week. So I'm happy. I'm happy to see my girl. But huh, one day it was cool. But the con I don't know. I just feel like I had to concentrate too much. Shows where I have to concentrate too much. Mm, people were speaking about this Mia Culpa. The Tyler Perry movie on Netflix. Everybody said it was given Tyler Perry movie. So I think I'm going to skip on that. Um, what else? Love is blind. I'm all the way caught up. Oh, okay. Good morning. And happy Sunday. It's Sunday, March 3rd. And I woke up a while ago. I've just been on my phone. What? I woke up because I wanted to go to the gym. But, in case you guys don't know, I got laser hair removal for the first time yesterday. And one of the after care instructions is you can't wear deodorant for 24 hours or exercise for 24 hours so when i woke up this morning i'm like how bad could it be <laughs> so i google like why do they tell you not to work out for 24 hours after laser and basically if you are you're not supposed to intentionally put yourself in a environment where you can sweat profusively in the areas that you got lasered so my bikini and my armpits when i work out the first area to sweat is probably my back and then my bikini area and then my armpits so i was thinking i'm just like i'm just not gonna do it and they also said that if you sweat too much you could break out in hives a rash whatever whatever i don't have the time for that so no gym today i know i know so instead, I'm about to get up and start editing my maintenance vlog for you. Well, try to finish editing my maintenance vlog for you guys so it could go up today. Fingers crossed. So yeah, good morning and happy Sunday. I'm too late. I know. It's for sure. Wow, okay. So I just came to church. I got here 30, 30 minutes before service because today is for Sunday and girl, the parking lot here, it be packed and stacked. So I was like, let me get here early so I could also get myself a seat in the cathedral. So I'm changing my earrings because the other ones I had in were too heavy for me. And I'm not really in love with my outfit but i'm dressed i'm here and that's the most important thing i didn't have any idea what to put on because most of my like church clothes are like winter clothes and it's 70 degrees outside so even the sweater vest i'm like i may be hot in it but it's gonna have to do so let me grab my water and head on in church i'll see you guys afterwards
Hey guys, I'm home from church. Service was so amazing. I did insert a few clips from service so that you guys could, you know, feel the message, feel the spirit. But either way, I came home. My whole kitchen, we love a good kitchen, okay? We love clean countertops. We love an empty sink, no dishes. Like, oh my God, it took so much energy to do this. But Joe, we did it. So now I'm about to get ready for dinner. It's currently 3. 30 but i want to take my time to do my makeup and record my outfit so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready now so you guys will see that on short form content so tiktok ig uh youtube shorts and i also threw in a load of laundry who is she who is she but i'm gonna let my batteries to my vlog camera charge so i could bring you guys along so i'll see y'all in a few oh guys so i just finished getting ready i recorded my makeup oh i need to record an ending clip for my makeup good thing i said that and i recorded my outfit this dress is from urban outfitters babes it might give janet jackson tonight but the girls are sitting up real good but i really have to pay attention and monitor so this dress it gives minimal to no drinking but i'm about to record this ending clip for my makeup and head out so i'll see you guys when i meet up with dad so i'm not 100 percent in love with how my makeup came out today partially because i have texture on my skin sorry i don't know what's rolling around in my trunk but i have to move it when i park up but either way remember how earlier when i was going to church i was like i'm not in love with my outfit as soon as i walked into church it was this beautiful young lady and she was like i love your outfit and i'm like in my head i'm like really but in my head, I'm also like, I need to stop being in my head. You know what I'm saying? But also, I wanted to share that if you want to compliment somebody, compliment them. If somebody compliments you, welcome their compliment, even though you may not agree or wholeheartedly agree with what they're complimenting you on. But compliments are needed, so don't be afraid to share them. Like, hey, girl, your hair look good. Hey, girl, I like your outfit. Hey, girl, whatever the case is. So that people can, you know, be reassured that they are beautiful or that they look good or that they should feel good. But compliments are literally necessary so i just wanted to share that but either way i'm on my way to des's house and of course i hit traffic because it's houston so i'm gonna finish vibing out and heading over but i feel so cute today i hope i could get a good picture because i know y'all miss me on the gram i post videos but picture content i'm gonna do better i'm gonna do better so just bear with me Hey guys, so I'm here with Zed. Yeah. Are you going? Is this I am. Going? Yes, it is. I don't have my camera. <laughs> hey, hey. If, if anybody's on your side, it's me. I told her, you need to post a vlog. She said, okay. Okay. So it's here coming. We are. It's coming. It's coming. But yeah. look at Zed's skin, y'all. Y'all, this Patrick Tall, non sponsored. Look at We the need it. Lights. We need it. No, yes. I know y'all see that. That's crazy. No, but it's a definition in the arms for me, too. Stop. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we have some ashwagandha. So I'm finally editing this vlog and realized I never gave you guys an outro or told you guys about the restaurant. So Des and I went to Auden here in Houston, Texas. I forgot the part of town that it's in, but it's like in the Midtown-ish area-ish. I don't know, but girl, 
when i think of like going out to eat in restaurants this is what i expect okay the aesthetics 10 out of 10 but a lot of times you got to stop at the aesthetics because the food and the drinks will be matching up to the aesthetics it just doesn't match it's like <laughs> i saw this um uh, meme and it was like if you ugly don't be wearing no good cologne because i'm not turning around for no reason and that is how i feel about restaurants like don't be out here looking cute and then when i like you know dig deeper it's not giving that like what either way the food was amazing i had the chicken 65 it was like little like popcorn chicken type things with like indian herbs on it i think it's like an indian inspired -ish restaurant because most of the herbs that they had in their food were like from indian culture so i'm not sure but either way i got the chicken 65 i got the branzino and i got french fries because duh, i'm always gonna get french fries and then for my drink i had the then what was it called it was like something the ticket i forgot the name of it but either way we're we on the food the chicken things they were good it said it was a small plate but literally you could get that and a side and that could be your meal depending on like how hungry you are and i believe they do have happy hour where like all their small plates are like 10 bucks so if you're in houston and you want to check that out go ahead and check it out because i know for sure i'm gonna check it out the branzino ooh, fire fire the only thing is that the branzino had small bones in it and the aesthetic of the place was kind of dark and i'm like i can't really see what's in here so i tried some of the branzino at the restaurant it was good but then I ended up bringing it home for like lunch the next day. The next day, I put it in the oven. I made it get like crispy. I put some scotch brown and pepper on it. And the rest was history. So the Branzino, fire. The french fries, they were good. The drink, it was good. When I go out to eat, this is what I expect. Tens across the board. If it ain't tens across the board, I, I don't want it. I don't want it. The customer service was amazing. When we first came in, they gave us those ashwagandha shots. <laughs> Des and I were so sleepy after dinner. Them shots is dangerous, okay? But it's like a wellness shop. But they're dangerous because at the end of the night, we were yawning. Our eyes were heavy. So, yeah, I guess it's like to calm you down since it's dinner vibes. I don't know, but it was good, though. Either way, highly recommend if you're looking for a good, and I emphasize good, restaurant in Houston, Texas, check out Autumn. If you guys have tried it before, comment and let me know what you guys think. But that brings us to the end of this vlog. If you made it all the way into the end, comment down below with a comment down below with yellow hearts. So I know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe, thumbs up, and drop a comment. Let me know your favorite part of this vlog. And let me know how hype y'all are that I'm back because hello, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.